I have a question for you. Do you want to get the most out of your gaming experience? If so, I have the answer. Switch to PC gaming. Now, to start off, my name is Michael Reese, and as someone who has been playing video games for as long as I can remember, I have played both console and I've played both PC. So today, I'm going to show you why PC gaming is superior. Now, I provide a little background information for those who may not be familiar with consoles or PCs. So, to start off, a console is a platform meant that is built specifically to play video games. Some of the most common ones that have come out in the recent years are the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the Wii U. Now, I'm pretty sure at least one of you guys have heard, you know, about those. So, moving on to PCs. So, a PC is a personal computer that is specifically designed to uh, play video games. Uh, according to www.gamersdecide.com, the top three PC gaming brands 2015 are Vibox, Falcon Northwest, and Exotic PC. So, I'm gonna show you today, oh, I already said why. So, <laughs> so as you can see, you have the PS4 in the left, Xbox One in the middle, and you have Game PC on the right. So my first main point is price. Now, when you're talking about price, it's different, it's different, um, it's measured differently between consoles and PCs. Now, with console, you have the initial release price, which is the price that the, the, that the creators uh, set when the console was first released. So back in, 20, in November 17, 2013, when the PlayStation 4 was initially released, the asking price was 399 US dollars. Xbox One was 499 US dollars, and the Wii U was 299 US dollars. A lot of money, almost half a thousand dollars for a gaming device. So, moving on to PC. Now, PC is different when you're dependent on two factors. Either are you going to build your own PC, or are you going to buy a pre built PC? So, according to digitalstorm.com, um, they, they list a variety of pre built uh, gaming PCs that start at, now this is just the starting price, they could go higher than this, but start at $899, $1,758, and $5,696. So, a lot of money, but again, that's just for the pre built. Now, in this area, PC is superior because if you opt, if you choose the um, route of building your own, then you know exactly what parts you're putting into your PC. So, parts that include the motherboard, CPU, GPU, RAM, uh, graphics card, etc. All of that, you know you are gonna find the best price for the best, you're gonna get the best bang for your buck in a sense. So, you're gonna choose the cheapest uh, alternative that offers the, the best performance. So, unlike the console, where you can't decide on what parts are in it. And PC, you can choose if you want, if you're, let's say you're on a budget and you want to, you know, get a, low, a, a lower end PC, you can choose to get cheaper parts, you know? Or if you have a lot of money that you wanna really put into a high performance, then you can opt to get a higher end PC with obviously better parts that perform better. So on to my next um, topic, which is limitations. Now, consoles are very limited in their performance because you can't change parts inside a console. Um, when you buy, that's it. You're, you're basically stuck with the stock um, components. Now, stock components, you know, obviously you can't change it like I said before. So you can't change internal hardware. That's, that's it, you're done once you buy it. The only thing that you can change, however, that I will give to consoles is that you can opt to change how the memory drive. So in a sense, how much memory you can store. So um, Microsoft has been has been has streamlined this idea and implemented it well into the Xbox 360 and Xbox One models. Very easy to switch out the hard drive. Uh, uh, recently, a third party company that that makes third party add-ons to the PlayStation 4 released an adapter that allows you to switch out the stock 500 gigabyte memory drive on, a, on the PlayStation 4 
and switch it out for a two terabyte or even six terabyte memory drive. Now that's a lot of memory. So that is very, that is that's a lot. So on to my last one, peripherals. Now for those of you who don't know what a peripheral is, a peripheral is basically something that allows you to, that is, is something that helps something else perform. So in this case, control it. Now, console players use controllers. Obviously, that's how they are going to play the video games. Um, it's ironic because you actually that is like one of the most that is if not the most important piece of a, a peripheral that you need in order to play because you can't play a game without a controller. So, besides uh, controllers, um, console support headsets, which are basically like headphones that have an ex have a, mi a microphone attached to it to allow in-game party chat. And microphones just by themselves uh, are the same thing as head are same things as headsets, except the audio um, coming coming from the TV actually comes from the TV. Whereas in a headset, it comes everything comes through the actual headphones, so you're hearing everything. And so okay, so PC offers the same same thing as you can see. Uh, gamepad, which is again just a fancier term for controller, is offered. Uh, obviously, you know you need a keyboard and you need a mouse to play on a PC. So headsets and microphones are supported as well. And unlike a console where you have where you don't you can't plug in a keyboard and mouse, on a PC you have the added bonus of plugging in a controller. I, like I said, you can plug in a controller and play like that as well, besides the traditional mouse and keyboard. Now where PC truly excels is in right there, multiple monitors. Having a multi now, there's something called having a multiple monitor setup, you know, and that's for you know the most avid of gamers. So let's say I just I am playing a game. I have my one monitor right here, right in front of me. I could see my field of view directly in front of me. I could have two more on the side that give me a wider, uh, wider angle of view, so I'm able to see in front of me and to the left of me. So that is basically why you know PC is superior because you can do that on PC. Consoles you can, I'm afraid. You're limited to a one TV screen or one monitor. And to uh okay so to conclude my speech, I hope I I hope I explained well why uh, PC is superior. And in, uh and I did this by showing you my three main points as to why, which were the price, the limitations and the peripherals. And to end my speech, I'm going to leave you with this. Um, even though I explained, you know, why PC is superior, really it only matters. It only is up to your personal preference. If you do, if you like playing on consoles because they're easier to easier to use and easier to handle, then you know, go play on consoles. If you like the technological freedom of being able to build and customize your own PC, then go play on PC. Like there's really, and so what I'm trying to say is, you know, play what you like and let others play what they like. Thank you.